Hello everyone, welcome to my channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners. Today we will learn one new command that is sketch form as well as uh, one more that is flatten, flatten form in sheet metal with a Creo parametric tool. So let us start with a new part similarly as a sheet metal. Select the units. So now we will create a planar here. Select a plane. I will create a sketch on this one. So let's say 300 mm. 300. Let's provide a thickness. Okay. So now similarly go to the form tool. You will see here the sketch form. Just select a sketch form so it will ask for a sketch so we need to define a sketch where I want to create that pad uh, sorry punch okay so just select the sketch here so I will create one sketch let's say circular one that is 50 mm diameter uh, from here I will provide 80 mm and 80 mm here as well okay so now that punch will create at this dimension now you will see here okay and now here one more options available here add taper if you want to add a taper here you can add taper just provide angle let's say two degree the round shapes here it is not possible okay now here i can try this one outside so we need outside one okay if you see the preview you can see the punch is created So you can add this dimension, the depth one. So it is too much. So let's say 15 mm I will add. And then create a punch. Sorry. Just go to the sketch form, provide a sketch here. Now we will try a rectangular punch here. Similarly, provide the dimensions 50 and 50. I will only add 40 mm here, also, I will add 40 mm. Okay, so now it is fully constrained, and now you can see. Is on the bottom most bottom side so just I will change this okay so here similarly you can add taper then uh, the round edges you can see the round edges will add here and this is to the outside or inside okay and this option so first we will create this punch now you can see the punch is created like this and if you want to exclude some faces so if you want to create an open punch throughout punch then you can exclude some surfaces from here so let's say select this if i want to exclude this surface so it will be created as open so now you can see the open and that is throughout punch is created similarly here if you want to create that so you can exclude this one and then create okay so in this way you can create a punch with sketch form so 
so now we will use this piercing option so create a piercing we just create a piercing so select this say once again 50 okay so only ears is created so you can see here and again you you can give some damage sorry it is going too much let's first provide a depth here let's say just provide this uh, let's say we'll provide this three so it will be somewhat down and then now i will provide this non placement edges so now you can see here if if i again select this then it will disappear that is not not possible to create that round with the thickness okay so i will here uh, reduce that length so you can see here similarly i will reduce the length also here so now you can see the round is created here as well as here and now click okay so in this way you can create a piercing so here exclude surface is not possible okay So this is the piercing option in sketch form now uh, if you want to create a if you if you want to just flatten this so here is option available that is a flatten form so if you flatten this now here is select all option is reference selected automatically so all the punches all the forms are getting selected automatically here so if you click here so it will be selected completely now if i want to select only some forms so let's say i want to select this form only then you can select with this flat form option available so you can see here the this, these are added if you press control and select another one it will be added here similarly so in this way you can flatten these two forms just i will select this one as well and then create okay so in this way you can flatten these forms So now better to select this uh, all of select all option and then click ok so in this way uh, we can use this sketch form and the flatten form in creo parameter sheet metal so in next tutorial we will learn about uh, die form and a quilt form we will learn about quilt form So here also uh, you can modify the dimensions so if you want to change this taper uh, let's say here once again i want to create select only 10 i want to provide and you can modify that just i will delete this flatten so thank you for watching please like and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you very much